Hello and welcome to Cotterific. In this video, we are going to see how we can create curve fitting plots in Python. Curve fitting is an optimization problem that finds a line that best fits number of inputs and outputs. For example, in deep learning, after testing a model, we usually want to visualize the best fitting line between predictions and the ground truths. And to do that in this video, we will use curve fitting function of SciPy library. So let's start programming. So as you can see i am back to my spider editor of python and uh, i have already imported important python libraries that i'm going to use in this program one of which is pandas and uh, i will use this to load data set from a csv and as i told you before that i am going to use curve fitting program of scipy here i am going to use scipy dot optimize library and from this library i have imported curve underscore fit function and to plot it i am going to use matplot library of pyplot and to create and arrange a line plot for mapping function i am going to use arrange function of numpy library and also with numpy as itself so this is my csv that is containing the data set which is y axis and x axis where the y column represent my predictions that i have obtained after training and testing a model and the x column represent the data set of ground truths so you can see that the both columns values are under the same range of integer values so before i call curve fitting function i am going to upload the x and y data from the csv and to do that first i have created a complete path including the name of my csv into variable input underscore csv next using the panda library i have called read underscore csv to upload the data set into df variable i'm going to run these lines written so far as you can see in my variable explorer that i have successfully uploaded my data frame object and if i click on the values of data frame you can see that the y and x columns are perfectly uploaded next i have uh, uploaded the x column values into a separate variable i have done the same for y column and uploaded all of the values inside this column into variable y let's run these lines and you can see that i have transferred these data to x and y variables next i'm going to call curve fitting function of scipy dot optimize so the curve fitting function of scipy dot optimize takes three parameters the first parameter is the mapping function that it will use to optimize and find the best line for the data x and y the curve underscore fit function returns the optimal values for the mapping function and these optimal values are often known as coefficient values curve underscore fit function also returns second type of value which is covariance matrix but in this program we do not consider covariance matrix so for now we are going to ignore these covariances next i'm going to define my mapping function and in this function i am going to use the curve line instead of a straight line so this function will take four parameters and to define those four parameters i have named x a b and c so x here will be my input data and the a b c will be my optimized parameters so i am going to use my exponential notation so i am going to use exponential notation in this line you can see that e is multiplied by input data and b is multiplied by x power of 2 and then c is added as it is i have created another variable that will hold the total answer next i am going to return this computed answer i'm going to run this line now i am going to call curve underscore fit function as you can see in my variable explorer that we have obtained the optimized weights or optimized parameters and the size of these parameters are three and these parameters are obtained and computed using a b and c i am going to use these optimized parameters and split them into three variables named as a b c before i use these optimized parameters a b and c first i am going to plot scatter plot over my x and y data the first and second parameters are input and output data the next parameter i have specified the color of this data and then color map scale alpha marker x and label as data s defines the size of each marker and alpha defines the opacity level 
of each point. Next, I'm going to define a sequence of inputs between the smallest and largest inputs. And to do that, I have used a range function of numpy and uh, I have extracted the minimum and the maximum of input data. I'm going to run these lines. So as you can see so far, I have successfully plotted my data of x and y as a scatter plot and as you can see that some of the data points have lighter green color than other data points in my variable explorer that you can see that x underscore line has single column defined by one dimension inside the arrange function next i am going to call again the mapping function and this time the mapping function will take the first parameter as a sequence of inputs that i just created using a range function so basically to draw a curve fitting line we have called our mapping function two times the first time we call it inside curve underscore fit to get optimized parameters and the second time we are going to call this mapping function so that we can get a curve line over the scattered data that we have just plotted here so in my variable explorer you can see that the dimension of y underscore line is the same as x underscore line you can see first i have created a line to print a line plot using x line and y line data and the line will be printed by using the markers to dashes and the color of line will be red so the title of my x label will be ground truth and on y axis are my predictions values and title of my this graph will be curve fitting plot and the legends will be lower right and the size of that legend will be 8 i do not only want to see the graph but i also want to save it and to do that i have called save fig function and the first parameter is the name including the extension or the type of image format will be png and i have kept the highest resolution as possible by specifying the parameter dpi as 600 next i'm going to show my plot and this is the end of this program i'm going to run it in my files you can see that the plot has been created and saved as png format i'm going to open this image you can see that the plot has been saved in perfect resolution where none of the fonts are blurry so you can see that i have obtained a curve fitted line over my inputs and outputs observations this is it for this video thank you for watching i hope you find it helpful if you did do like and share also subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video if you have any suggestions leave them in comments section i will do consider it thank you